to see what's going on with Jatropha at PSO, I called upon them. Their Jatropha plantation is on a marginal land in the outskirts of Karachi. This is an experimental Jatropha cultivation nursery which has been set up on a 20-acre land with around 20,000 plants growing in it. Each plant can prove to be economically viable if it gives 4 kilograms of Jatropha seeds in one year. Now these 4 kilograms of Jatropha seeds can give 30% oil, it means 1.2 litres of oil. This oil is then converted to biodiesel in a special extraction plant. Yes, they have an extraction unit too, which is the same unit given to them by the Alternative Energy Development Board. This is the oil extraction plant where the Jatropha seeds are brought in and converted into biodiesel. The process starts from this machine which is known as the cleaning of filtering machine. This is the cleaning process. Seeds are fed in this machine and this machine cleans the seeds manually and then these clean seeds are collected in this bowl. As you can see, this is a manual cleaning process. So any unwanted or any unnecessary material which is present with the seeds is cleaned in this process. Now these seeds are cleaned and then collected in this bowl. These are the bit of clean seeds as you can see. Now these clean seeds are taken in the expeller, which is the second part of this oil extraction process. This is the expeller machine. Seeds are fed in from the top. And these seeds are crushed by this machine and we get two outputs. One is the seed cake, which is collected over here. This is used as a fertilizer and it can also be used as input for uh, power generation plants. The second output, which is the most important thing, is the oil, which is collected over here in this drum. It comes out from this side. As you can see, this is what is going on inside this expeller. Oil is dripping in and it is collected in this bowl. Now, the third process, it is the oil filtration process. The oil which comes uh, from the expeller machine is collected in this drum and then it is transferred with this motor to this oil filter plant. As you can see, this oil filter plant filters the oil and cleans it and any unwanted and any unnecessary material is cleaned. This is the clean oil which is dripping from these tabs. This clean oil is collected in this collector and finally, the final process of Oil extraction is done in this sterification plant. Oil and methanol are fed in from this feeding unit, which is upside, as you can see it over here. And then these two materials, methanol and oil, come in this reaction vessel where they are reacted and two outputs come out from this reaction vessel. This is the final output, as you can see. This is glycerine, which is the lower level of this bottle and this is 100% biodiesel which is collected on the upper side. Biodiesel is safe and can be used in diesel engines with little or no modification needed. Although it can be used in its pure form, it is usually blended with standard diesel fuel. What I am pouring in this fuel tank of this vehicle is B10 biodiesel. B10 means this is 10% biodiesel and 90% petrol diesel which is available on the pumps for you. Now we'll have a test drive on this car and let's see how this works. I think we are, the platform is ready, very frankly. It is just, there's some push required. The availability of land in uh, Baluchistan, Southern Baluchistan and Southern Sin is immense. Push is that, you know, either you get the investors in, the policy is there now, or government should set up initially a pilot project. But you can't do it if you do, if you run the same pace, if you go to the, through the beaten path. You have to look at the path which has never been travelled before. The government could not provide this push in wind and solar. How is it possible to have it here in the biodiesel sector? Now we are looking at the implementation plan as to how much land will be required, where are we going to get the land from, who is going to plant, uh, what will it cost to plant it, and who is going to buy it, 
uh, what kind of infrastructure is required, what kind of equipment is required. So have you reached any uh, answers that is in this? Uh, no, we are, well, we have, uh, we have a plan uh, that we are discussing. We have to formalize it, we have to finalize it.